Welcome to Itsrafik. In this video, we are going to discuss some practical based question of MySQL chapter. The first question which is already included in your book, practical exercise. This question comes for 5 marks. The question will be exactly same like this. Create a table customer in the database named Club Mart. Sometimes th sometime this name may be changed to some other like a company or some organization. So you no need to take tension about it so here are the information when the question is given this way so you always have to ignore the first line because this is the header of the table so you will have to create from the second line onward customer id customer name mobile and customer category and also the data types are given so solution is already given here this way you will have to write create database club mart first will create that database after that, we will write this command to activate the database, use club mart, then we will create the table, create table customer, then we will write as this way, customer id, primary key, this, this way we will write, that means till here database and table creation will be completed. After that, there are some sub questions, like first question is, display the structure of the table, for that we write this line, describe customer, and after that insert five records so this way we will write insert customer values after that the values and here you will remember when there is an integer value you no need to write inverted comma but with date and textual value you always have to include inverted comma now we we'll, i will show you some questions which already came in pre-board question papers and which i have already solved in different districts so the first question Write the MySQL query, create a table customer with the structure given in the table below. Then perform the following function. This is the table. Here table name is not mentioned. So we can give from our side as customer. So to do this question, first we will have to write as answer. So let change the text little bigger so that you can easily see it. So first we have to make the table, for that we will write create table, then the name of the table, let the table name is be as customer, so c-u-s-t-o-m-e-r, after that we will put a bracket, then we will seal the field name, field names are customer id, customer name, salary and date of job. and these are the first line always will have to skip here because this is the header line, so first line we will write customer then id after that we'll add the data type which is integer and we'll write just primary key after writing the first line we'll put a comma then we'll go to the next line again customer name and the data type which is worker after that when we have to mention the size of a field we always have to write inside bracket in mysql we always use the simple brace, uh, parenthesis or brackets so here size is 20 we will close the bracket then constraint is given as not null so we will write not null then comma now salary here data type will be integer and there is no size then go to next line date of join date of joining here data type is date in date we no need to mention the size but constraint is given as not null so we will write not null after that we will close the bracket which we already started this bracket we will close it here then we will put a semicolon and as the date of joining is the last field of the table so we no need to put comma here so this part done so our table creation is done Write the MySQL query to create a table. This part have done. Now we have to perform some question which is given below. Here, insert 5 records in the table. So for that, again for the first one, number i, we will have to write
insert five records so our code will be insert into customer values and bracket now here first customer id it is integer so we can give one comma customer name we can give any name ram then customer salary salary is a number so we can give any number let it be 20,000 comma then date of joining date of joining we'll have to write within inverted comma let it be 01 first we'll have to write the year 2017 then 01 01 after the bracket close then we'll put a semicolon now the same line it will continue five more times because we have to add five records in that table so we will write the same line for five times but there should be little bit changes while you write the same line for five times you change the primary key and change the name like in place of ram you give sham then here serial number make it three and you give here name is sita then again serial number make it four change the name to something else Gita after it serial number five and change the name to something let it be Rita and salary also you can change according to your wish etc so this way you can do so this first question done now second question add a column gender after customer name that can hold value m or f means it can take only one data so it will be character type that's why uh, for this we have to use alter command so to do the next question question number two we will write the command as alter table customer then add gender add gender after the data type of gender which is character and size will give as one because it can hold only one character after that we will write after customer name customer name then semicolon so this will be the answer of question number two then question number three display the distinct customer name and salary means distinct customer name and salary will have to display so we will write here select number three select distinct then here customer name comma distinct salary from customer so this will be the address of this uh, answer of this question after that the last question display all the customer record whose salary is more than 20,000 so this one we will write this way number four question select star from customer where salary is greater than 20,000 and semicolon so this will be the answer of this question now let's come to some another uh, type of question question is same just little bit change here create a customer table customer in database name business with the following fields customer id customer name customer mobile and customer category and category should be either x y z after it we'll have to do these questions so first let's create the table So first we will make the table, okay. We will write 
first we have to make a database that database name is business so create database business then we have to use the database so use business then after using the business we have to make the table so now create table customer and break it here what what field we have we have to see it customer id is integer then customer name customer mobile and customer category so we will write it here first customer id integer primary key then customer name this one will be worker 20 and if constraint is there or not we can see from here this is not null so we will give it here as not null after that mobile means phone number what name is given in the table customer mobile so we'll write customer mobile this will be worker and size is 11 then not null after that customer category this will be character because it can it have to hold only one character and data type while we enter it should be x y or z so we will not do anything here and we will close the finally starting bracket of customer and put a semicolon so our table creation and database creation done now we have to go to the sub questions insert 5 record we have to add 5 records for so number 1 question we will write insert into customer values and here the values will be like customer id is 1 customer name is ram then customer mobile number is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 then customer category let it be x break it close semicolon now we will continue the same statement for five times because we have to add five records as i am writing in computer so i can do copy paste but in exams answer sheet you have to write your uh, write it yourself so I am just changing the ID of the customer and also we have to change the name Sham Radha Pran Rita and Ram and also we have to change the categories like Y then make it Z again X after it Y number also we can give some other other numbers so this way we did this question number one insert five records after it question two display the structure of the table now for displaying the structure we write DESC command so we will write for doing question number two, we will write D E S C R I B E. Then the table name. This is customer. After that, the last question, question number C. Display the customer name and customer mobile. So this one name and mobile number we have to display. So for number three, we will write select customer name comma customer mobile from then the table name which is customer so this way we can do this type of question in mysql and i hope it will definitely come for five marks so you cannot skip this type of questions 
so practice the questions see the previous year, year question paper different districts question paper like this question you solved then easily you will able to do it and if you have any confusion regarding some queries you can ask me in telegram as well as in comment section thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye